Hi guys, Suella Braverman, the new Home Secretary, delivered a foaming at the mouth attack on a whole range of groups and organisations in the House of Commons on Tuesday. It was quite a spectacle. And frankly, something not even her predecessor, Priti Patel, would lower herself to. But while the Home Secretary tried, like most Tories, to blame everyone else for her own failings, she wasn't getting away with it. And once again, Yvette Cooper from the Labour bench put her back in her box. Have a listen to this wonderful exchange. So yes, I'm afraid, Madam Deputy Speaker, it's the Labour Party, it's the Lib Dems, it's the Coalition of Chaos, it's the Guardian reading, to tofu eating, wokarati, dare I say, the anti-growth coalition that we have to thank for the disruption that we are seeing on our roads today. Madam Deputy Speaker, I urge opposition MPs and members of the opposite other place to take this second chance, do the right thing, respect the rights of the law-abiding majority and support this bill. The question is that the bill be now read the third time. Uh, there's very little time left. Um, Shadow Home Secretary Yvette Cooper. Madam Deputy Speaker, I just, it's like astonishing. The, the Home Secretary actually talked about a coalition of chaos. <laughs> we can see it in front of us as we speak. No, I understand the Minister, they do have concerns. The government does have concerns. When they face issues where you've got a selfish minority wreaking havoc, you've got someone who's resisting all attempts by the powers that be to remove them, causing serious <laughs> disruption, disorder, chaos, with serious consequences for the public, for businesses, for politics and for financial markets. But they've glued themselves under the desk. <laughs> with honourable members opposite, we wish them luck with their attempts to extricate the another failure. Tory Prime Minister Yay! from number 10, but I suggest it isn't a reason to change the law for everyone else. Wonderful. I love Yvette Cooper. So, <laughs> um, you know, she took the foaming at the mouth attack and turned it into, I don't know, she held up a mirror. She held up a mirror to the Home Secretary saying, you know, you are the ones who are the coalition of chaos. You are the ones who are disrupting trade, disrupting businesses, disrupting parliament, disrupting everything. You know, a few people protesting on the street, protesting about something that's important to protest about, the environment, you're using them as some sort of uh, example to push through a public order bill that is stripping people of their rights their right to free speech, their right to protest, their right to assemble. This is what this is what you're trying to push through, and you're using uh, an example of some people protesting on the street, and and the language she used here, tofu eating, guardian reading, wokarati, whatever I, I can't even pronounce the word. Um, invented boogeyman, invented threats. This is what it's all been reduced to. The phantom menace. You know, th this is something that we can't really identify as a problem. You know, it's not the people on the street. They're not really, uh, they're not the real problem. But it's the whole uh, coalition together that, you know, I need to add in as many people as possible. The Lib Dems. <laughs> um, we need to add in as many people as possible, any groups as possible, in order to make it a real threat. A threat to what? A, tre a threat to democracy? A, a threat to public order? No, the Conservatives are the threat to public order. The Conservatives are the threat to markets, to the society, to the economy. And it was perfectly laid out here by Yvette Cooper. Um, unfortunately, this bill would probably go through the House of Commons. The Tories have a massive majority. But I hope that as soon as the Labour Party get into power, they will roll back a lot of these draconian measures. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.